Yo guys, welcome back to another Wizard on a Walkthrough, and today we're going to be continuing on the uh, last little bit of Mushu, and we're going into Village Silo, and I realized uh, just when I, uh, I actually leveled up at the end of last episode to level 45, so that's cool. I didn't even realize that until just now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have one of our last oysters here, and uh, there's no book here, so there's also that. All right. So it looks like uh, we're getting into the last little stretch of Mushu here. I'm excited to finish it all. All right. Let's talk to Ken. Who's there? Have you been here before? Do I know you? I don't oh, think so. Wizard. I had to leave my family because an evil spirit haunts us. Ken Shui's lower lip trembles and he speaks in a whisper. Please, revered one, could you do away with these undead? They will surely send the evil spirit after us. <sighs> okay. I mean, I suppose. I can do that. I think there's Curse Ronin up here. I'm not sure why the yellow arrow is being fussy. There is Curse Ronin, but... There's also quite a bit of uh, skeletons, rather. All right. Oh, thank God, he still got the cursed Ronin. <laughs> All right, let us. I I need a fire blade. There's I can't really do much without it. Even if I had a me, even if I was able to cast a meteor strike right away, I don't think it would have killed. Actually, maybe. I don't know, it's debatable, but either way, we can do it right now, so we should be good. These two battles shouldn't take too long, because, I mean, this one was pretty quick. I just need to make sure I actually get Cursed Ronin in the fight, because I don't want any Death Soldiers, but it's kind of hard to tell where the battle circles are going to end up in this little strip, because it's so non-linear, and you can't really tell exactly... But it looks like uh, there's a good portion of guys over here, so... Eh, we should be good. Now, if you want to let me go first, that's even better. Nope, of course not. Because <laughs> why would I ever go first? Actually, it's fine. It's, this is just saving it for bosses later on. Where I need to go first. We'll put it in the first bank. First turn bank. All right, let us uh, rain fire upon these Ronin. Uh, when you when you had to do the quest uh, earlier in the game, it was actually it actually used to be ten. You actually used to have to be ten of these guys, which a little bit annoying, honestly. But you know. All right, let's go back to Ken. Two more levels and I get Fire Dragon. That's gonna be nice. I still have to get Smoke Screen. I still haven't got it. <laughs> you have done as I asked. Thank you, esteemed wizard. I feel much safer. I hoped that our leader would save us from the evil spirit, but I can't find him. He is wise and always knows what to do. I thought to look for him in the town dojo. But I saw the undead lock the dojo with a spectral key. Can you get the key back from one of them? Uh, I suppose. Let me just uh, restock. I am going to be using them at a pretty fast pace. I mean, I am right now, but even more so later on. Because it'll probably take more than one hit to uh, knock some sense into the guys, metaphorically speaking. Uh, still not going first, of course. Oh, I want to actually test this out. I want to see if it'll kill. I know it's kind of not exactly the best thing I should do, but I I want to try. See if it'll actually kill in one turn. I'm just curious. Death blade. Yep. Well. 
Well, it definitely won't be helping like that. <laughs> Oi, okay. Oh, man. The things... Okay. I was like, you gonna fizzle on me again? <laughs> Nice, it's still killed. Sweet. And I got the spectral key. Even better. I mean, yeah, I did fizzle and it could have been one turn earlier, but... Eh, it wasn't that much of a difference considering that they didn't even use any actual hit spells. And, uh, I need to remind myself where... Oh, yes, I know where it is. Okay. Let's talk to Ken. You brought the key! Thank you, great one. Ken Shui reaches out for the key, but his hand passes through it. He looks surprised and confused. There's no he's dead. A spirit? Yeah, bud. Forgive me, great one. I did not realize I was not among the living. Even so, this great evil harms all good spirits here. Please find our leader in the town dojo. Even when he was among the living, he knew much about spiritual matters. He can help you stop this evil. All right, and there's the oyster for village of sorrow. Gonna go ahead and grab that. All right, now let us. Now we can go and help Tin Ying. Tin Ting Yin. God butchering all the all the names on the planet, dude. By the planet, I mean Mushu. Hey, buddy. Ting Yin's body ripples like water until it shimmers and vanishes. A monstrous shape emerges from it. It is the demon Usanaki. You poor, pitiful wizard. I am glad you showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. Uh, okay. Can I go first, pretty please? I'm, I'm saying please. Oh, Bro, why do I even ask? Why do I even ask? He's gonna put ice... Why? It's not worth it. It's actually not worth it. Like, that's just a fact. Oh my god. What are you. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's just a fact that that was not worth it. There, There is no way you would have got me to play that. Not happening. Take two. <laughs> Bro, he still goes first, I swear <laughs> to God. Okay, he didn't do it. Because I, I, there's no way. I wasn't going to play that again. It just took way too long last time. All right. Let's faint, faint it up. Bum. Bum, bum. I might only need one blade, actually, considering. That my boost is gonna be pretty good, actually. I might not even need it. So I think I'm gonna blade once and then just hit. Never mind! Okay, never mind, it's a mantle. Okay, never mind. I'm just never reminding everything. <laughs> Pulling a quick one on me. Yeesh. Alright. Yeah. It's about time I fizzle something. Albeit it was with a minus 45, so... It's even more of a chance to fizzle, but I think you get my point. I had powered through a lot of minus 45s, so it's about time I fizzle one of them. Damn, running uh, on nothing but baby pips, man. Alright, got ourselves a nice meteor strike. Should be good enough to kill, but who knows. What do I know, right? Whew. 
pretty sure it'll do. Pretty sure. Yep. At last I am free. I thank you, Riviat Wizard. I have been trapped here since the evil spirit pulled me from my family. I sense you carry a spirit cage. If you seek to capture the evil spirit, you will need a soul chain to bind it. One of the other good spirits can help you forge one. Okay. So I have to forge a chain? Great. Pretty sure I remember this part. I have to feel like walking dead or something. I used to like that show as well. Lol. <laughs> King Ying spoke of a soul chain? Yes, I am amazed at what I understand now. I see how spectral chains would work. For all the spirits here, who could help you forge a chain? Why, the blacksmith. Speak with Ji Hong Bi nearby. When she was alive, she could forge anything. Okay. Let's talk to her then. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ji Hong Bi's metal shop. I haven't had customers in... Well, it's been a while. I'll be frank with you. I'm a ghost. I'm not sure what I can help you with. But whatever it is, it's free. You want a soul chain. Hmm... Never had anyone ask me for one, but lots of things change when you become a spirit. I can't make the chain myself, of course, but I can tell you how to do it. First, you'll need to defeat some walking dead to collect some dark souls. Then come back here. Nope. Uh... Yep, it's this one. Previously on The Walking Dead. No, I'm just... <laughs> okay, let's... Uh... Okay, do I have monsters in? Yeah, I have tons still. Okay. 700. Nope. Can't do it. I, I couldn't... I could barely do it with... Uh, no blades. Can't really do it with that. Especially when they have 700. Like, unless I was getting, like, the low... End. Of the meter strike, but even then, if it's even a possibility, I don't want to do it, so I'll wait. I could take out uh, the prisms now, so I'll probably do that. This is also another quest where you used to have to do 10, I believe. I'm pretty sure. But, anyways. Uh, yeah, pretty much how I expected it to go. Yeah, it looks like it's not too difficult to collect, so we're looking pretty good then. Let's get these uh, other two Dark Souls. I always thought that, like, the Walking Dead intro sounded so good. But, like, the deep voice and stuff. Previously on AMC's The Walking Dead. <laughs> it sounded so cool. Alright. Uh, yep, we should be good to... Go. Not with that, though. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now we should have collected all the Dark Souls, hopefully. Hopefully being the key word. And yes, we have. Good. Okay, I haven't had to use potions in a while. That's a good thing, I guess. It's actually a really good thing. Alright. Let's go to... Let's forge our little thing, chain. Yes, yes. You did a great job getting those dark souls. Now put them in the brazier there and forge your chain. All right. You are doing well, young wizard. 
There's your chain. All done. Okay, maybe I helped with the spiritual bits, but you did the real work. Thanks for stopping by Shi Hong Bee's metal shop. Go on and show Ken Shui what you did. So I make sure. Start to relax a bit. So I make sure there's no side quests left. You have the chain. I was holding my breath till you came back. Yeah, you don't that even have any I breath. Yeah, I was gonna say. I had breath to hold. Oh, brave wizard, you have everything you need to capture that evil spirit. You'll find the evil spirit's vile self beyond the outskirts of town. We village spirits are behind you. Okay, I'm going to put in uh, Phoenix instead. Because this is just a solo boss. It doesn't have a minion or anything, so it's on the different side of things, I guess you could say. It's in a pretty secluded area, too. Oh, you told me the Defiler. If you want to be humiliated in battle, by all means, fight me. Well, then I suppose I'm fighting you. Not sure about the whole humiliated part, but... Because I don't think that's really going to happen, but, you know... I mean, you could try. <laughs> really? Okay, it's a mantle. <laughs> I'm getting pretty sick of getting hoodwinked like that. I'm thinking it's going to be a weakness, and I'm like, oh... I'm going to have nightmares again, and then I... It's just like, nope. Just kidding, bro. It's nothing of a so sort. I was, was gonna say, man. Should honestly, I should be able to kill the next turn. I uh, Phoenix is gonna do a lot. Plus, with faint, my base damage, the thirty-five percent blade. It's probably gonna kill. So, wow, Dark Spirit, what a what a spell to use, man. Yeesh. <laughs> okay. This is like maybe the third time I've ever used Phoenix. Oh, come on. It just barely didn't kill by 15. Now I have to wait till I get another phoenix because I foolishly discarded both the sunbird and my fire elf. I don't know why I did that. It was dumb. I get it. But, you know, I mean, I'm probably going to fizzle it too because of the minus 45. I'm slightly embarrassed. Although, what it does make up for it that I did get the right power pips and stuff. So that's good. All right. Yeah, I kind of figured I was going to fizzle it, but very well. I wasn't surprised. Which I guess is good. Let's just get this over with. All right. And there we go. No! Curse you, young wizard! I shall have my revenge one day! Hood of the Agile. Not, uh... Look, it's terrible. I know you can get, uh... Co um, not colored. Symboled gear, kind of like this one, in that fight. And I was hoping maybe I'd get something fire-esque. But, uh, for stitching later on. But, uh, nope. It didn't end up happening. So. Too bad. Anyways, let's talk to Ken. Ah ha ha! I can speak loudly again. I don't feel the evil spirit anymore. Unless you bring that spirit cage too close to me. You will now control a powerful spirit and have freed the good spirits of this village. Now we can watch over our families and troubled souls as you have done. Please carry that vile spirit away where it can do no more harm. Like the temple. Yes, take the cage to the guardian there. 
Oh, don't worry. We're going to use it. <laughs> we're, well, use him, I guess. Or was it a him? Who knows? You can't really tell when they're a wraith. Could be a girl. Could be a guy. You know. Depends. Don't really know who they were before. All right. Okay. So, Village Sorrow now checked off our list here. No available quests in the world still. So, looks like there's no more side quests in the world. Thank God between you and me. <laughs> ah, I sense you have captured a strong spirit. With its power, you can now cross the Cursed River. The Cursed River prevents anything good from crossing it. No matter how distasteful, we can more easily defeat only no death. With an evil spirit, the time has come. Once we cross the river, we will meet only no death himself. Our task is simple, but long in coming. We must defeat only no death and bring back the fruit of life. Meet me at the edge of the broken bridge. I'm ready when you are, wizard. Oh, it's getting intense, bro. No, you mustn't cross the waters. I will not help. I can't stop. No! I cannot refuse. I will help you across. Good. Alright, but I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys did enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button down below. That much would be appreciated. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video of the Wizard of Walkthrough. And peace out. Bye-bye.